家好，我是苏西。我是今天我们带大家去故事城堡，故事城堡里有许多好听的故事，而且还有好多好玩的玩具。让我们一起出发吧！
I don't know. I never play that. If you throw it in the air, what will happen? I don't know. If you throw an apple in the air right now, what will happen? It will fall down. I said, if you throw an apple on space, it won't fall down because there is no gravity. Gravity is you coming know, from the earth. You can, you can, if you are an astronaut, you can sleep hanging on the wall. Yeah. Upside down. But you need to be careful to grab things. Or if it's something you are not careful, then it will spill out. If there were no air, you would find that gravity pulls everything at the same speed. No air? Astronauts proved this on the moon, wow. where there is no air. Every dropping race was a tie. Amazing, but true. Aha, uh -huh. astronauts really prove this. Does everything land with the same force? Or do some things hit harder than others? Here's a way to find out. Have someone drop a dry sponge into your hand from about a foot above it. Next, try a small bar of soap. Which hits your hand harder, the sponge or the soap? Which one? Try dropping lots of things into your hand. Soon you will discover that some things hit harder than others. Right. Which one is harder, sponge or the soap? soap. Yes, yeah, soap. The more heavier, the harder it is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now hold the bar of soap in one hand and the sponge in the other. Yeah, yeah. Which is heavier, the sponge or the soap? Move your hands up and down to feel the difference. Which one is heavier, soap or sponge? Heavy. The soap, yeah. Your hands stop the sponge and the soap from falling to the ground. But you can still feel gravity's pull on the soap and sponge when you hold them in your hands. This pull is called weight. Stop and check. Reread. What is weight? Reread to check your understanding. What is weight? That's something you can make. The things. That's uh, like soap can the sponge which one is heavier than the soap. And the soap is heavier. Weight. Weight is weight. It's a pull. It's called weight. What is weight? But you still can feel the gravity pull the soap and the sponge while you hold them in your hand. This pull is called weight. 就是地球的引力就叫做weight,就是叫做重力。或者叫gravity就是weight。Weight,weight也可以作为重量上,也可以作为这个重力讲,重力的话就是地球吸引这个东西的力量就叫做重力的weight。Okay? It's like, for example, if you don't hold it, this will fall down, right? But you hold it, you hold it, but you still can feel the earth is trying to pull it down, right? This pull is called weight, it's called, called also called the gravity. Can you feel it? Yeah, you feel it, that's a weight. But I can't feel that it's trying to pull it down. If you make a heavy one, do you feel the earth is trying to pull it down to the, to the floor? Yes. That's a weight. Right. I feel it's wobbly. Yeah, wobbling, yeah. That's weight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weight. Okay, I think we are done for this page. Thank you. You can see if one object is heavier than another without letting either of them fall. Here's how. Get two rubber bands the same size. Tie one of your shoes to one rubber band. Tie one of your parents' shoes to the other rubber band. Lift both shoes by the rubber bands. Which rubber band stretches more? Which one will stretch? The heavier more? shoe stretches the rubber band more. Each rubber band acts like a scale to measure weight. Mm -hmm. 
Which one will be heavier? This one. Parents' one, right? So the parents' shoes yes. rubber band is longer, right? Than the yes. babies, right? Your weight is a measure of how hard you fall when you fall down. How much do you weigh? How much does your mother or father weigh? How much do you weigh? Mm, I don't know. 48? No. 40. No, 45. 45? Okay. What if I am... What if I am 98? Then you are growing up then. When you become a adolescent, you will be that. What if I am 225? You are overweight. That's too heavy for you. But why this way? They just write it down. Somebody are taller, they may have that weight. Like my age. You? No, I don't. No. Grandpa yeah. won't eat that. Grandpa is 167. Okay, that's right. The more you weigh, the harder you fall. But you don't have to fall in order to weigh yourself. A scale tells you how hard you fall, without you falling at all. So simply get on a scale. Yay! About the author and illustrator. Vicky Cobb likes to test out gravity on the ski slopes. Gravity pulls her one way on the hill, down. Vicky loves the creative tasks and hands-on experiments she did at her New York City elementary school. They made science fun. Vicky loved learning that way so much that today she writes books to help other kids learn the same way. Julia Gorton sees gravity in action every day while she watches her three children skateboard. Julia illustrates books and teaches at an art school. Author's purpose. Vicky asks the reader questions throughout I Fall Down. What do you think her purpose is for asking questions? What's the purpose of asking questions? Hmm. So that then remember to know this, right? What is gravity? Something that pulled down. Mm -hmm. Is it the same as weight? I don't know. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same thing. Yeah, the force from the earth like try to pull things down, right? And uh, how much you weigh is how much when you fall down, and then how heavy you will fall down, right? Do you need to fall down to measure your weight? Do you need to fall down to measure your weight? No. How do you measure your weight? With a scale. Yeah, you use a scale, right? Yes. Nice. What if you fall down to measure weight? You don't need to. Make connections. How does the force of gravity affect us? What is something you learned about gravity from I Fall Down that surprised you? How does the force of gravity affect us? How does it affect us? Hmm. Will you still be on Earth, standing on Earth without gravity? No. Yeah, you will floating, right? Floating like in the air space. Right? The gravity will help. How you. about I? F how about I throw tennis balls? Yeah, what will happen? They will float. Uh, will they float around and around like me? Will they? If without gravity. How can we do a sky dance? What will happen? Can we do a sky dance? Yeah, I think so, without mm -hmm. gravity. If there is no gravity. But if there is gravity, what will happen? Then we can do that. You have to fall down, right? Yes. How about if we do a flying, a gravity, a, a flying dance and upside, uh, upside down? Can we do that? Can we do it? All the space? Can we do it or not? If if no planet, uh, if no planet, if we hold no planets, then we should be able to. Why? In the space you said, right? In the air space. I don't know. You don't know. Summarize. Use important detail to summarize the 
selection information from your author's purpose chart may help you. What's the what's the what's what does this text uh, tell you? Tell you about yeah. one word about white. No, about what? Gravity. Yeah, about gravity. All about what? Another word? Weight. Weight. How how weight you are, right? That's evident. How do you know I fall down is a expository text? I, I don't expository. Know what means expository? I don't know. Gravity吗? Do you have gravity? Yeah. yeah, you have it, right? This is real. It's not a, like a fiction. Fiction is not real. But this one is real, right? Think about what you read on page 214. Do you think the author is writing to entertain information? And let's finish the question first. No, no, no. No, let's finish the question first. No, we don't need that. Sorry. What? Do you think the author is ready to entertain, inform, or persuade you? How Enter what? Entertain, to be loved, inform, to persuade, to be persuaded, to be persuaded. How do you think? How do you tell? Two, one, four. I don't know. Do you think what she is doing? Throw a ball up in the air. Watch what happens. It goes up for a short time, then fall down. What does it tell? Is it persuade you or inform you or just entertain you? Entertain you. Entertain you. Inform is to tell you, to encourage you. Then persuade is to comfort you. It is in what way? Yes, in do you think they are entertaining you, inform you, or uh, persuade you? Inform? Yeah, they inform you. This what, is is it, is, what is this entertaining? Entertaining will be let's play in dance, let's play with, let's play the ball together, let's entertain you. And how about persuade you? You must fall down. You must fall down. You must do this. You must do that. Let's persuade you. How about you? How about me? How about me? I don't know. You persuade too. I persuade you too? Okay. What is the author's comparing molasses to on page 217 of the selection? Use what you know about signals to help you understand the description. I don't know. I don't know. What? 217, 217, 217, okay. What can you? You can see how gravity pulls. Take a spoonful of molasses or honey and point the spoon molasses. down so that the goo okay. dribbles back into the jar. Watch it drip. The goo stretches and gets longer and longer. It sun? looks like a ribbon streaming into the jar. Gravity pulls the molasses from the spoon back into the jar. Molasses. Spoon back into the Molasses. Let's check what means molasses. M-A. Don't, don't touch it. We can check it here. M-A. M-O. M-O. L. Let's 不要这样，你这样我没办法给你查了。OK， 我拉，你自己可以打呀。
No, don't don't put the tab, okay? I'm all L A and then molasses. Molasses. S S E S. E S. Molasses. 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 Tommy. Tommy. Tommy is how? Molasses. Molasses. Well, let's see. Don't don't don't. No, 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 no. Your hand, your hand, no. I'll put it back. Sorry. Don't touch this. Write about Arthur's purpose for writing I fall down. Use detail from selection uh, to support your writing. Write about it. I don't know. You can just tell me about it. I What's Arthur's purpose of writing this? What's mm -hmm. his purpose of writing I fell down. Mm -hmm. Gravity. You see, Vicky asked a little question through the I fall down. What do you think her purpose is for asking questions? I um, I feel like I found out. Yeah, they they ask you questions, so you will think about it and try to find the answer. Then they can use this question to induce you, induce uh, the, you know, the next topic. Is that right? Why? If they don't ask you a question, you you won't think about it, right? Yes. 他们问问题是为什么呢？就是他先用这问题呢，然后引出后面的一段话。他一问问题，你看这个东西会怎么样？会发大，会发大。那他为什么要发大呢？然后你就要想为什么呀？他就告诉你是什么原因。他不问这个问题，你就知道发大，发大，发大。你也不想为什么的话，那你他也就引不出下面的 gravity 了，是不是？他是为了引出下面的。就是一些引出来，这样就可以给你讲 gravity 这个事情了呀。如果他不问这个问题，就没办法给你讲这个事情，是不是？他上来就给你讲重力，重力，重力，你根本不知道什么叫重力，是不是？但是他告诉你，你扔东西它会发大，你扔这个会发大，扔那个会发大，但是什么引起它发大的呢？你就会想啊，这个是重力引的它发大，对不对啊？ gravity 或者说是叫什么？也叫什么 weight 引的它发大，是不是、啊？ Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say goodbye to your friends? Bye. And tomorrow, tomorrow we will read another book together. What is it? Move it. Okay. Bye. Say goodbye to your See friends. See you next time. Bye. 好了，小朋友，今天的故事就讲到这里了。大家要是有好听的故事或者是好玩的玩具，记得写信给 Susie 和 Lucy 哦。我们会在第一时间分享给每一个小朋友的。大家如果喜欢。